second stage. Stage one, entry burn startup. We heard the call out and you can visually see on your screen that the entry burn has begun on the first stage. Again, this helps to slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. It's only about a 20 second burn. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And we heard that call out for entry stage burn. Stage two, FTS has saved. Heard the call out that the engine burn has completed, and you can see that the engines have shut down on your left hand screen. That is two of the three burns. The last burn will be the landing burn. You can see in the background Stage of your left. Stage one, FTS has saved. <laughs> you the can... Vehicles are on nominal trajectories. Good call outs there, and you can see the land in the background view of the first stage as it's making its way back to landing zone one. Stage one, transonic. Stage one, landing burn. And the landing burn, wow, incredible views of this landing burn of this first stage. Let's see if we can touch down on landing zone one today. This is our 104th recovery of an orbital class Terminal rocket. Guidance. And that includes first stage landings for both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. And speaking of Falcon Heavy, today's flight marks the first time that we have reconfigured a Falcon Heavy side booster to a Falcon 9 mode, which is pretty awesome. Now next up, we will have the shutdown of the MVAC on the second stage coming here in about 10 seconds, and that is called SECO-1, or Second Stage Engine Cutoff-1. SECO-1. Just heard that call out for SECO-1, just waiting for Nominal a call. orbit insertion. And there it is. We got a confirmation of good orbit. Now the mission isn't over just yet. The second stage is now embarking on its first coast phase. And after the coast phase, we will light that MVAC engine for a second time around T plus